In this video, we will break down the 10 steps you need to start selling online today. By the end of this guide, you will not only know how to sell online, but also have access to further ways to make your business successful. Before we begin showing you how easy it is to launch your store with JumpSeller, it's important to mention that most of the following steps can also be done while you're on the free trial period. To better benefit from this guide, we recommend you pause each step and take the actions you desire in your own Jump Seller store. First step, adding products and categories to your store. Go to your admin panel, then products, then all products. In case you already have an inventory of products in CSV format, click import to upload all the products at once. If you don't have one, click add product. Starting with the first field, as an example, the product name will be Basic Relaxed T-Shirt. Now onto the product category. When you create a product category, a page containing it will automatically be generated. You can create a category by clicking on Add Category, typing its name, and clicking Add Category. To create a subcategory, click again on the same button, type its name, select the parent category, and add it. Keep in mind that creating categories does not automatically add them to the store navigation menu. We will show you how to do it later on in this video. Product descriptions are meant to describe and sell your product. When writing them, try to make them tailored to your customers and highlight the perks and benefits of your products. You can click to start adding images or you can drag and drop them. After uploading the images, you can reorder them by dragging them to the order you prefer. The first image in the top left corner is the image that will be used as the thumbnail of your product. In the Properties section, you can set the price, stock, SKU, brand, and barcode. In the Shipping section, enter the product details regarding its size, weight, and package format. Since in this case, the product is a t-shirt, we can keep the package format as box. This information is used by shipping companies to calculate part of the cost of fulfillment. To add more details to your products, you can use product options. Here you can generate variants and assign each of them specific properties. In the product options section, click on add. Select the type of option you want to create and start adding the different variants by pressing enter after each variant. Now you can edit the image of each variant by clicking on it. And also their SKU, stock, and price. You can also add attachments, custom fields, and more to your product page. The last field is the search engine preview. JumpSeller already optimizes your store to be SEO friendly, but we allow you to further customize how your product pages appear on search results. To edit the search result preview, click Enable Edition. For the page title, try to keep it short. Regarding the meta description, you can add extra information that complements the page title. In our case, it would be the sizes, colors, and type of cotton. As for the URL, make sure people can understand where they'll be redirected to once they click on it. Once you're done, click Save at the top of the screen and preview your product page to see what it looks like by clicking on View. One last thing you need to do is add the categories and subcategories you created to the main navigation menu of your store so that they are easily accessible to your potential customers. You do this by going to Navigation, then Main Menu, and clicking Add Item. Select Categories, then search for the category you created, in this case it's Men, and tick Add Subcategories so that the T-shirt subcategory also shows up. Click on the tick and then save when you're done. Second step, customizing your store's theme. All new stores are created with the default Jump Seller theme. To see what is your active theme and or to choose another theme, go to the Admin panel, then Themes, then Gallery. You can take a closer look at each one by clicking on the eye icon next to each theme. Once you've chosen the theme you'd like to change to, click on Install. 
Now that you have the most adequate theme for your store, you can begin to personalize it to fit your business needs. Click Visual Editor to begin. The first thing you'll see is the section list. Sections are the building blocks of your store. You can add sliders, testimonials, banners, videos, and more, depending on your store's theme. And easily order them by dragging and dropping. Click Edit Settings to access more options to customize your store like fonts, the number of products that are shown in a slider, colors, etc. Once you're done, click Save. Third step, adding payment methods. To add a payment method, go to Checkout, then Payments. Choose the ones you want and click Add Method. Then you can customize their name and other configuration options. If you want to enable or disable a payment gateway without deleting your settings, you can do it by clicking on the slider button next to the respective payment gateway. Fourth step, adding shipping methods. To add a shipping method, go to Checkout, then Shipping. Select the shipping method you want and click Add Method. After that, you can customize it however you like, even change its name. If you want to enable or disable a shipping method without deleting your settings, you can do it by clicking on the slider button next to the respective shipping method. There are also more precise configurations you can create, like shipping zones, to restrict certain geographic zones in which shipping methods are available. To create your own, go to Checkout, then Shipping Zones, then Create New Zone. Type the name of the zone. This is only for your own organization. It won't be shown to the customers. And select the location of the zone and the shipping methods. When you're done, click Save at the top. Finally, go back to the Shipping Zones main menu and toggle the Shipping Zone and the option Use Shipping Zones in Checkout so that the shipping methods in the checkout will be influenced by these shipping zones. Fifth step, configuring taxes. Jump Seller will apply the default sales taxes around the world. However, we offer very detailed tax options, so you can create custom configurations for certain situations where it may be required. To create specific tax regulations or change how the default ones work, go to Checkout, then Taxes. We start by activating the option, Automatically Apply Standard Tax Rates for EU Countries, since we have a store that will have customers from the European Union, and this automatically calculates the tax that each product should have. In this case, since we want to be as transparent as possible about the cost of buying the t-shirt, the product price already includes tax, and shipping already includes tax options were activated, so that the customers can check the final price before they go to checkout. In case you have customers from outside the EU or want to create taxes for specific products, go to the section below and choose the country, region, municipality, type of product, name for organization purposes, and the tax in percentage or value. To understand better how to create tax rules for specific products, check the link in the description. Sixth step, creating promotions. You can create various types of promotions in JumpSeller. To create a new promotion, on your admin panel, go to Promotions and type your discount name, coupon code, usage limit, and limit per customer. After that, select the type of promotion, subtotal, type of discount, percentage or amount, and minimum sale amount to trigger it, which is optional, and click Save. Now it's ready to be used and shared everywhere. Seventh step. Installing Sales Channels Sales channels can greatly improve your volume of sales as you can easily reach a much larger audience. To install a sales channel, go to Sales Channels and click Install on the sales channel you would like to start selling on. Then follow the steps inside each one to configure them. Eighth step, creating a business email. One way to increase trust in your brand is to have a business email with your store's name on it. Since JumpSeller has an integration with Google Workspace, you can create it right from your admin panel by going to General, then Google Workspace, and filling in the information. You must have a custom domain before being able to use this integration. By default, all emails are sent to your customers from the address noreply at jumpseller.com, displaying the name of your store. You can change the sender email address exclusively on the premium or above plans. In order to change the address, 
go to General, then Emails. Edit the From Email Address field to your preferred email address, then click Save. Ninth step, improving the user experience. An online store needs to comply with a set of rules and regulations to protect both the store owner and the customer in case something goes wrong. JumpSeller helps you with that by providing standard template pages that you can add to your store and edit to suit your needs. In order to do that, go to Pages, then Legal, and click Use Our Template to generate our standard template. After that, you can either edit some parts of it first or click Save. Don't forget to go to the navigation menu to add the three pages you've just created to the footer of your store or to the main menu. Click on Footer menu and then Add Item. Select Legal and one of the three pages and click on the tick. Do the same for the remaining two pages and click Save when you're done. Whether you have plans to grow your store worldwide or only at a local level, you will always have customers from different languages visiting your store. With JumpSeller's multilingual feature, you can easily add other languages beside your main one. On your admin panel, go to General, then Languages. Click Select New Language. Select from the list and click Add. Click on the new language you added and click on Translate All to make sure everything is translated. Tenth step, customizing branding and visibility. There are a number of components that together form your branding. You can edit almost all of them by going to General and clicking on Preferences. Starting with the store name. That is what will appear on the search results as the title of your website. So you want to keep it short and straight to the point. In our example, it could be Organic Clothes, Sustainably Sourced Fabric, since this is our core selling point. Regarding the store description, similar to the product page, complement what was said in the store name and add important keywords that you would like to rank for on search results. Moving forward to the visual branding. In case you have a logo, you can add it here by dragging and dropping it or clicking to add it. If you don't have one, you can create it using an online generator. The same thing can be said for the favicon, which is the icon on the tab of your store's pages. Don't forget to add your social media profiles to your store. That way, customers can click on them to get access to your other channels easily. To do that, go to the social media section and click Edit Information. After having configured all the essential information and options of your online store, now it's time to make your store public for everyone to see and start getting visitors. By default, all stores that are on the trial period have a disabled status which means customers can't access it unless they know the store password. To make sure your store is accessible by everyone, on the store status field, check if it's available. If you aren't ready yet, or whenever you would like to make changes to your store without customers being able to see them, use the disabled status, which also allows you to customize the disable message that is shown when someone visits your website and the password to enter it. That's it. Now you've taken the first steps to begin a successful online business. There's plenty more to explore and configure in JumpSeller to take your store to the next level. But for now, you're all set. Find more information at jumpseller.com support or by subscribing to the JumpSeller YouTube channel.